Okay, number four. Put a kind of a little trick question in here. Does anyone can pick up why it's kind of a little bit of a trick question? Oh, I forgot an X though. That's not my trick. Half of you guys forgot to do this on the test. Factor out the K. So we didn't have double brackets. So if you look at all the other ones with the double brackets, this one doesn't, and it has a K value. So we got to factor out the K. So don't forget that. So many people forgot it on the last test and the test before. So we're going to factor out the K value. So we get Y equals 4 cos 0.5 X, and then 90 divided by a half. It's actually 180. Yeah, let's say you had it too. Thank you. Okay, so we make sure we factor out the K value. Okay, follow the same steps. What's my first point? Sorry? Sorry, what, negative 180 and negative 1. So negative 180 and negative 1. So step 1, negative 180 and negative 1. Make sure it's always the opposite sign for your D value. Step 2. 360 divided by K. Oh, it's going to be a big one. Might be, be able to fit this online. What's my K value? 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Guys, I'm not sure if it's going to fit on the chart, but it's fine. So we get 720 degrees is my period. Then we take that number. Divide by four. That gives you 180. Okay, so negative 180 and negative one is our first point. Then we take step two, 360 divided by our K, and our K is 0.5 in this case. So we divide them, we get 720. Whatever this answer is, we divide by 4, and we get 180 degrees. Now we take that number, so step 3, take that number, and add it to the first point four times. So 180 plus 180, sorry, negative 180 plus 180 is? Zero. Zero plus 180. 180. 180 plus 180. 360. And I'm missing one. 360 plus 180. 540. 540. Excellent. So it'll be over here. Off the chart. That's why I like to do the the x-axis after I have my point, so I know where my period is. So last point is 540. So now we have our five points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what's our function now? It's cos. Good, so what points we move? One, three, five. One, three, and five. So this is the first one we're doing for cos. So we're gonna move one, three, and five. 
How many spaces? Four spaces. Okay, since it's positive, we're going to go up four. One, two, three, four. So what's going to happen to the third point? Down, yes. So down four, one, two, three, four. these. So we move our first up, third down, and our fifth one. What do you think? Yes, up. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we move it four spaces because our amplitude is four. Now, connect the dots. If you want to, you can, walk, you can erase the ones you moved. And we have our graph. You'll notice as you get used to this, it's very fast. They do a graph in a minute. Any questions? We got one more. I hope it's another close question. Is it close? Mm -hmm. okay. And it's right in the middle. So guys, I'm going by 45s, and you'll see why. We're a little bit quick on this one because we're repeating ourselves. Plus, I'm going to run out of memory soon on my phone. I moved by 45s, and I'll explain in a minute. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have. That doesn't matter. Okay, so you'll notice sometimes you'll see when I graph it, sometimes the points don't line up perfectly with your x-axis. So this will be one of the examples where my x values will kind of be in between these ones. Maybe someone at home can answer this one. What's my first point going to be? Anybody at home, first point? 
Thank you, Alessia. She's the only one awake right now. Negative 60 and negative one, excellent. Okay, so negative 60 and negative one. Sorry, her and Christian are the only one answering questions. So negative 60 and negative one. So you notice that it doesn't really line up with any of the points that I have, so just estimate it. So negative 60 is a little bit closer to negative 45 than it is to negative 90. So I'm gonna put my first point about here. So negative 60 is about here. Okay, second step. 360 divided by our K. What is our K value? Deborah? Two. Two. Good. And then we divide that answer by four, which gives us 45 degrees. So we're going to increase by 45. So that's why my x-axis is not going to really match. So negative 60, or negative 60, plus 45 is what? Sorry? Negative 15, good. So we'll go from negative 60 to now negative 15. Should have went by 60s. Negative 15 plus 45. Owen? 30. So this is negative 60, negative 15. Positive 30, 30 plus 45, 75, good. And lastly, 75 plus 45, okay. uh, yeah, you're right, one, No, 120, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Huh? 120, 120. So this one's 75, and that's 120. Okay, so negative 60, then negative 15, positive 30, positive 75, positive 120. And now we have cos. What, what points do we move? What points, Esther? One, three, and five. So we're gonna move one, three, and five based on the amplitude. Our amplitude is negative three. So where are we gonna go first? Down, good. So we're gonna go down first, since it's negative three. So we're gonna go one, two, three down. So I'm moving this one. Where's my third point go? It's always the opposite. Okay. Third one's gonna go up. One, two, three. And that means our fifth one goes down. One, two, Questions? Owen. So for our scale, if we start at negative 60 and then just go up to 45 on negative 60, if we know what it's going to be like, the first one's going to be negative 60. Yeah, you can. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
I think go up by 45s or what might have been easier is it still negative 15? This would have been 30, so that would have worked. You could go up by 60s or 30s. Yeah, it doesn't really, it would match on a couple. So I probably should have done that. Maybe put negative 60 here and then go up by 45s, yeah. Questions, any other questions? Anyone at home, questions? I know it's a bit repetitive, but this is good. And it doesn't matter what equation we get, follow the four steps and we get our graph. Okay, I think the homework's at the bottom. I hope it is. Oh. Okay, homework. So page Okay, it's just those three questions, 384, 2, 5, and 7. But for 7, guys, um, it says predict. Don't worry about that. For 7, I just want you to graph it. Okay. So number 2 is graph. Number 5 says match. Match the equation there and the graphs. And then 7, um, there's 6 graphs there. So just do the graphs. Don't do any of the prediction parts. Um, just sketch the graph. Good?